So next up, Spartak Moscow. 18 minutes into the match, it's Tomas Party on the ball. He brings it to Orsolini to Williams, back to Party and Dembele on the edge of the box, who then crosses it in for Party, who takes the shot. It's blocked, and then Nyaki Williams puts it in the back of the net, and it's 1 0, just like that. Before the end of the half, it's Tomas Party once again leading this attack. It's Nyaki Williams to Orsolini, who gets right past his defender, and into the back of the net it goes. It's 2 0. 69 minutes played, Zaha intercepting from the Moscow defender. He now leaves it for Naya Kirby with all the room in the world to finish it and he just dinks it into the back of the net. Three to Crystal Palace. And then just to end off an amazing night for Palace here at Selhurst Park, it's Tomas Party once again. He brings it to Zaha on the wing who then cuts inside. He passes it to Tomas Party. It's safe but then Tomas with the header into the back of the net. It's a 4-0 destruction of a team from Russia. Birmingham. Well, three minutes into the match, chance for Palace already. It's Juan Foyth to Yusef Fatal, who then leaves it for Brahim on the wing. Brahim has a ton of room to maybe even take it himself, but he leaves it for Atal, who takes the shot. It's saved, and then Orsolini with the rebound, and it's 1-0 to Crystal Palace. A couple minutes later, it's Rinaldi passing it to Inyaki Williams, who then brings it back to Rinaldi, who then enters the box, cuts inside, leaves it for Ricardo Orsolini to get his second of the day, and it's 2-0 to Crystal Palace. 88 minutes played, it's Usman Dembele on the ball now. He passes it to Naya Kirby with all the space in the world to find someone, or even take it himself. He brings it to Inyaki Williams, who then brings it to Usman Dembele, and Usman just rolls it into the back of the net. 3-0. Spurs. To counter attack for Crystal Palace in the 14th minute, it's Brahim with a ton of room. I keep saying that, I feel like I should stop saying that. But Brahim then cuts inside, decides to leave it for Inyaki Williams, who then gets fouled in the box. I, um, I'm just going to refer to this comment. Nonetheless, it's Milivojevic to bury it into the back of the net. And it's 1-0 to Crystal Palace. A great start. 42 minutes played. It's Ricardo Orsolini. Through ball to Inaki Williams. And he's just going to get past everyone. And just look at the style of that strike. That is pure magic. Outside of the foot strike. Just curling right into the back of the net. And it's 2-0. But before the end of the half. It seemed like season 2 and 1's Maxwell came back. Because then we made a defensive mistake. And brought Tottenham back into this. And by brought Tottenham back into this. I mean we actually let them score again. It's Deli Alley. He passes it to Harry Kane. Harry Kane has just way too much room. And he exposes it. By well exposing us. And making it to all. So after. After three matches in Group H of the Champions League, uh, there's a bit of an issue with the table for some reason. But as you can see, uh, we're tied with Juventus with seven points. It seems like both of us are basically bound to qualify for the next round if we win our next match. But nonetheless, uh, the issue we're having here, though, is the fact that uh, the goal differential doesn't really seem right. I mean, Juventus should be above us since they have the better goal differential. I'm not going to question it, though, because if this is how we're going to win the group, then I mean, like, I'll take it. So once again, we play Spartak Moscow, and this time... It's in Russia. 19 minutes into the match, Palace on the attack. It's Usman Dembele passing it to Milivojevic. To Inyaki Williams threads it to Orsolini in between the two defenders. It was a pretty wide open spot. But anyways, it's off the crossbar and in. Orsolini makes it one. 48 minutes played now. It's into the second half. It's Milivojevic to Inyaki Williams to Orsolini. And once again, it's the Orsolini and Inyaki Williams link up play. And it is just absolutely magnificent. And then 90 minutes played, a chance for Crystal Palace. I mean, there's barely any time left, but we're still on the attack. It's Anyaki Williams to Naya Kirby, and Anyaki has a hat trick of assists, and well, Naya has another goal in the Champions League. And now it's time to look at the Premier League table. We are still first place. Chelsea are kind of inching up towards us though. Uh, they're one point behind us thanks to our two draws. But to round off the top five, it's us in first, Chelsea with 28 points, Liverpool with 26, Spurs with 26, and Manchester United with 21 points. Seems like Wigan have come back to the Premier League. This'll be fun. And fun indeed it was, because <laughs> four minutes into the match, a chance already for Palace. It's Orsolini. He threads it to Inyaki Williams. Inyaki is going to, well, leave his defender for dead. 
go inside and just put it into the back of the net himself. 67 minutes played. I mean, we had our chances. We just couldn't seem to really finish any of them. But anyways, it's Orsolini. He finesses it into that top right corner. And it's 2-0 to Crystal Palace. Just like that. Then 81 minutes played. It's Zaha on the ball. He leaves it for Naya Kirby. Passing it to Inyaki Williams. Inyaki to Naya Kirby. Kirby trying to find someone. He can't really do it. But then he just back heals it beautifully to Ricardo. Rinaldi, who once again scores, I'm telling you, man, this man is on a mission to steal Milivojevic's job. It just seems like it. Once again, um, who? Well, that's what I get for talking sh well, it's okay, because we did have a chance to get it all level here. It's Tomas Barty, beautiful ball right in between the defenders. And it's to Usman Dembele, who's just gonna make it absolutely impossible for the keeper to reach it. And, yeah, we got a one-all draw against our rivals. I know, it's kind of embarrassing. And now, Club Bruges. Club Bruges? Fine, we'll actually figure this out. Brugge. What? Brugge. Brugge. It's Brugge? Brugge. Hold on, hold on. Ah, jeez. <laughs> okay, that is not how you say it. Okay, so, um, there's more proof that YouTube pronunciation channels are absolute bullshit. 15 minutes into the match, a free kick, an indirect free kick. It's Juan Foyth to Tomas Barty, Barty to Nyaki Williams, then he passes it to Brahim, and Brahim just squeezes one past Mignolet. And it's 1-0 to Crystal Palace in Belgium. 84 minutes played, it's Jeffrey Schloop to Naya Kirby, Thomas Barty, who's just going to blast it outside, not just the box, but even just the half circle. This man could literally score a goal from the other side of the pitch, I swear. Next on the menu is a top-of-the-table clash against Chelsea. What can I say? Other than this match, did not start well at all. It's Kovacic on the ball, he leaves it for Dani Olmo, and Dani Olmo in the 7th minute gives Chelsea a 1-0 lead. 16 minutes now, it's Kennedy, he passes it to Emerson, who then leaves it for Dani Olmo on the wing, he then cuts it to Jorginho, who gets fouled by Ricardo Orsolini. And yes, it's a penalty to Chelsea. Timo Werner, you are no match for Wilker. Farinas. But after those events, Anyaki just decided to go complete Thanos mode. No, he didn't snap away half the universe, and no, he did not kill his own daughter. Instead, he just went on to do it all himself. 44 minutes played, it's Usman to Anyaki Williams, Barty on the ball now to Orsolini. Orsolini with a great ball to Anyaki, who's just gonna get past his defender and past the keeper. Already, we've equalized it, thanks to Inyaki. Then into the second half, it's Vinagre to Rinaldi, Orsolini threading it to Tomas Barty, who then sees the run by Inyaki Williams. Inyaki doesn't have enough room to take the shot first time, so he turns and curls it into the back of the net. A 60-minute hat-trick against his former club. What a man. 91 minutes played now, Chelsea with just one final attack. It's Kovacic to Timo Werner, and Werner is going to pass it back to Kovacic. And Kovacic, can he do anything with- K Kovacic, no! Newcastle. 20 minutes played, a chance for Palace, it's Orsolini to Inyaki Williams, he then decides to try and pass it to Orsolini, it doesn't work out, but then a defender just passes it to Brahim, who then brings it back to Orsolini, and it's 1-0 to Crystal Palace. I really need to improve my commentary. 22 minutes played, it's a pass to Joe Linton, and Joe Linton takes the shot, and much like his goal tally this season, it was awful. Nonetheless, Dembele leading this counter-attack. It's Inyaki Williams now. He passes it to Orsolini. Orsolini threads it between the defenders to none other than Usman Dembele, who is just going to put it into the back of the net. Simple as that. 2-0 to Crystal Palace. 41 minutes play, Crystal Palace still not done though, it's Vinagre to Orsolini, Orsolini passing it to Milivojevic, then he finds Dembele who then just turns his defender off the post and in. Dembele now has a brace and it's 3-0, just like that. But once again, season 1 and 2, Maxwell just came back to haunt us because we just made once again another mistake. I'm sorry, Kunde. I'm ruining every single bit of a chance for you to actually upgrade because of my absolute ineptitude. The greatest month of the year has ended once again, November. We've actually dropped down to third. Now, keep in mind, we still have a game in hand to play, so we'll probably jump back up to second, hopefully, since we are playing 
Nottingham Forest next. But just to round off the top 5, it's Liverpool with 41 points, Chelsea with 38, us with 37 with a game in hand, Spurs in 4th with 36 points, and then Arsenal with 31. So as I said before, Forest. Now just keep in mind, I am playing one of the worst sides to ever feature in this series. And you'll be honestly surprised how well they did. Not even a minute into the match, Zaha manages to find his way onto the ball, and Zaha then enters the box, ton of room to run somewhere or pass it to someone. He brings it to Ayu, who then leaves it for Naya Kirby, who just blasts it into that top corner, and it's 1-0 to Crystal Palace just like that. 17 minutes played is Milivojevic to David Boateng, Boateng with a good ball to Naya Kirby, who turns his defender and just simply puts it in into once again the corner but this time it's the bottom corner he has a brace and it's not even 20 minutes yet 21 minutes played it's Zaha on the ball he's found himself on that same wing he passes it to Stefano Russo one of our youth academy graduates like I said before this team isn't very good yet again though Zaha destroying this Nottingham Forest defense like milk destroys my stomach because I am lactose intolerant yet I drink about four cups a day nonetheless it's 3-0 to Crystal Palace 36 minutes played it's David Boateng once again to IU and IU finds Naya Kirby for the hat trick not even before halftime Naya Kirby Crystal Palace underrated legend let me tell you and then 52 minutes played it's Milivojevic to David Boateng he passes it to Ayu are you seeing a pattern here because Ayu is about to get himself a hat trick of assists he's still a legend in my books and he should be in yours as well Jeffrey Sloop with the fifth goal of the game and that would actually be our last unfortunately enough why did I say that because I was kind of having quite a bit of fun to be honest now listen David I'd like to formally apologize on behalf of this awful forest side your eyes should never have to be victim to such beatings and now with five games played one more match to go in the champions league group stage we face juventus and here's the table so far it's still flawed because juventus should be above us because of goal differential but nonetheless it is tied all together and this next match defines everything that happens in the knockout stages welcome juventus to selhurst park it's time to get serious. Seven minutes into the match, Orsolini on the ball, he passes it to Tomas Parti, who then passes it back to Orsolini, leaving it for Iñaki Williams, turning his defender brilliantly, curling it into the back of the net near post, and it's 1-0 to Crystal Palace already, just like that. That is what I like to see. 12 minutes played though, attack for Juventus here, it's Matuidi on the ball, he then passes it to Oshiman, to Ramsey, back to Oshiman, who takes the shot, it's blocked, but then Ronaldo heads it towards Dybala, and Kunde should have done better, but it's 1-0. 24 minutes played, it's Aaron Ramsey. He gets tackled though by Tomas Parti, and then Parti leading this counterattack. It's Orsolini. He brings it to Brahim on the wing. Brahim decides to cut inside, try and see if there's anyone in the middle. Who is it? It's Ricardo Orsolini with a goal and an assist after just 26 minutes. Juventus were very much not done with us yet though because it's Oshiman to Matuidi back to Oshiman through a nice pass by Matuidi to Dybala and it's a good save by Wilker Farinas. 47 minutes played a chance for Juventus once again they are getting quite desperate to find a goal. It's Ronaldo he passes it to Bentecourt who then passes it to Oshiman to Dybala to Matuidi. Matuidi then passes it to Oshiman brilliantly and it's an amazing save by Wilker Farinas. 54 minutes played, Dybala on the ball, he gets tackled, it's now Vinagre's ball, he passes it to Dembele, to Inaki Williams, Inaki to Orsolini, beautiful footwork to manage to get past Matias Delict, and Orsolini has all the room in the world, and of course he's gonna put it in the back of the net. Ricardo Orsolini, Chef Orsolini, owner of the three Michelin star restaurants, Palace's own, a Juventus reject is currently destroying the club that once believed he wasn't good enough. The absolute scenes. 60 minutes played, Juventus still weren't done, of course they wouldn't be done. They're not gonna leave here without a fight. It's Matuidi to Ronaldo, back to Matuidi, and Vinagre tries to tackle him but it's not enough. Matuidi outstrengthens the man, and it is 3-2. There is still a big chance for Juventus here. And now 75 minutes played, it's Bentagor, the De Ciglio, it's Oshiman on the ball. He passes it to Dybala, to Ronaldo. Ronaldo, can he do anything with it? No, he gets tackled, and now it's Milivojevic with a terrible pass to Bentagor, to Dybala, and it's Oshiman on it, and it's a brilliant save by Wilker Farinas. Those are saves that are gonna give you a trophy, I can tell you that right now. I feel like I get a little too fired up when I do these commentaries, but nonetheless, 
nonetheless, we win the group against Juventus. We've won against Juventus. We've proven that we can beat one of the world's best. And that is going to be something we can carry on into the knockout stages. I'm ready.